When it comes to women, you said a moment ago that women sometimes struggle with the bit about being vulnerable. Mm. And I couldn't agree more. And I do, I do a lot with women in the corporate space, but obviously as entrepreneurs as well. I feel we women, we doubt ourselves too much. Mm -hmm. um, we back ourselves too little. Mm -hmm. And so often don't pursue the things that we'd really love to do because we just are afraid we don't have what it takes. We're afraid we're not enough. We're not smart enough, bright enough, connected enough, mm -hmm. you name it. I have yet to meet a woman who has never had those moments. Mm -hmm. Now, I've met plenty of men too, but I've met more women. So for you, when you have those moments, because I know that you're not immune to it, and I, and I know that obviously you've come a long way and you're, you're a confident <laughs> woman, but when you have those moments, which I'm assuming that you sometimes still absolutely, do, I don't absolutely. want to project that on you, how do you handle those moments of, ah, oh, do I have what it takes? I have a serious talking to myself. I seriously do. I literally go, come on, princess. It's time to put your big girl <laughs> pants on and sort this out. How ridiculous. I literally, at times, it's like I've got these two characters and I'm talking to them. Because, again, it comes down to you either choose to listen to that feeling, which you're so right we all have. You know, you get tired and you, you know, you're pitching in a massive idea somewhere and someone signs it up and then you go, seriously, why? Why, why would you choose me? I'm writing a book, for God's sake. It's like, why would anyone read it? Of course I have those moments. Yeah. But you can either choose to listen to that negativity and just never move forward, or you go, you know what, let's just give it a go. And it very much is that for me of, of keeping going. And this for me is also why it's so important to surround yourself with amazing people. So um, because there are dream stealers out there, these people that just zap you of energy, that um, out of a place of care don't necessarily want to support whatever the big dream is. But if you get amazing people around you that are on a similar journey or that get what your big vision is and will tell you off and tell you to pull on those yeah. big girl pants and just get going and <laughs> we will celebrate those successes and equally talk through those moments of doubt, yeah. they're so quicker to get over. Yeah. And it's so important because for whatever reason, I have no idea why, you're totally right. As women, we are constantly doubting ourselves. We're constantly putting ourselves down. Are constantly thinking, why? Can, how can I? But well, you can. Yeah. You so can. But yeah. it's up to you. It is, and it is a, a, that belief. And I do. So when we surround ourselves with positive people who believe in our ability to mm. succeed, it it truly creates like an environment mm. that makes success easier to achieve. Because I know, even my husband. I, I, I know you've got a great husband yes. as well. I know yeah. my husband over the years. When I've had that, oh, yeah. oh am I deluding myself? I mean, don't be so Can stupid. I really do that? And he's like, of course you can. Yeah. Like, this, he's got no doubt. Like, I've had plenty of doubt. And he's like, of course you can. And, man, I've had to lean on it. Mm. And um, so, you know, whether you have a life partner, a husband yeah. or someone else, but, but finding those That's people true. and really cultivating those relationships because they can make such a difference mm. in those moments. Mm. Likewise, I know you've got three kids. I have. Three I thought you were kids. going to say, actually, no, I've got two. Yeah. <laughs> no, three. <laughs> three Last three count. children, 10, 8, and a six year old. Yeah. So. Mental in my house. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, it's funny. I've been um, in Sydney for three nights yeah. in a hotel. And uh, the kids are on school holidays. And right now, every time I call home, I can just hear noise and chaos. Yeah. And it's been. My, I spoke to my mum today and she said, oh, well, you'll be glad to get home to the kids tonight. I'm like, oh, it's been really nice. It's been really nice being up here because I've been working on my new book. And um, so in between things, it's been just great to have this time away from the kids. And I love my kids dearly, but it's been really nice to have a few yeah. days away. But I do know that this mothers, we struggle more with guilt. You don't hear about father's guilt because they rarely feel much mm. about it when they have to go on a business mm. trip. It's like, I just have to do it. There's no guilt. I miss your concert, whatever. We're like, oh, I'm missing the concert. Mm.